in a free country. And the Kenny and his government do not serve the interests of the people of the Real Republic. Instead of serving the interests of the people, they serve the interests of their masters in Brussels, in London, and in Washington. Instead of serving the interests of the people, they serve the interests of the bank, the media barons, and the multinationals. Instead of protecting our rights, they attack them continuously. Instead of building a republic worthy of the leaders of 1916 rising, they have built a rotten, corrupt cesspit. A perverse banana republic where the people serve the state and the economy instead of the other way around. I stand before you a citizen of the new republic that we are all going to build together. If the parasites in Leinster House get away with setting this very dangerous precedent where people who gauge, engage in a peaceful sit-down protest with false imprisonment, we are facing a very worrying future in defending our rights. All of the defendants and our many supporters are at the point of exhaustion. The time and effort that has been put in into building our campaign has been enormous over the last two years. It is now that we really need to up the ante and go into overdrive. We are now more than ever need the help of many, many more as the trial begins on Monday to help spread the real story of what took place in Jobstown in November 2014. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has unselfishly and tirelessly helped build the Jobstown Not Guilty campaign. Thank you very much. Our second speaker today is the MBRU Chair in the, Broad, in the Broadstone Station. His name is Stephen Nugent. He's here with a number of his colleagues who have been continuously supporting us at the Liberty Hall. They have recently came off a 21-day strike and are currently considering the Labour Court recommendations. Could people please put their big hands together for Stephen Nugent, please? Thank you. I'm here today with some of my MBRU colleagues to speak on behalf of all my striking colleagues to give support and solidarity and stand shoulder to shoulder with the Jobstown Not Guilty defendants. I also call on the Irish Congress of Trade Unions to get behind my MBRU colleagues as a negative outcome in this trial could have far and wide repercussions to all unions and the right to strike through peaceful protest. All trade unions should wake up to the repercussions of a negative verdict in this case because if, because if they can tr twist peaceful protests into a possible life sentence, it will apply to industrial disputes right across the country because, prote pro because protesting and standing up to the sick, corrupt government would mean doing time in a prison cell. I was part of the protest in Jobstown and the government will use and bend the law to its own ends. It will leave out protests on television coverages and news features because they don't want to highlight that the people of Ireland are actually standing together for the first time in a long time. They think that if they keep it quiet that they can get away with it, well they can't. So I'd like to just ask that everybody sticks together and supports the people of Jobstown in the next few months while the trials are going on because this is a crime against the people of Ireland. Yeah, yeah. That the government are going to actually use the law against people. And they're not even using the law, but bending the law to what they want it to mean. Joan Bourne was not kidnapped, she was detained. So this is <laughs> a difference. So this, this is a crime against the people of Ireland to bring these people to court. So we just need everybody to stick together and keep the support going. Thanks very much. Support from Jonathan Sugarman. For those of you who don't know who Jonathan is, he was once the risk manager, manager at the Unicredit Bank Ireland, one of the largest banking and financial service provider companies in the world. In 2007, he resigned from that bank after disclosing enormous liquidity breaches at that bank. But so, but before resigning from the bank, he informed the central bank it took, this, it took over two months for the central bank to arrive for a scheduled audit. As you would expect, 
the bank had conveniently rectified the manner. Everything was in hand, the central bank said. As a proud Irish citizen who has spent the last 10 years campaigning for justice and who has paid dearly for upholding Irish law, I am grateful for this opportunity to express my full support for the Jobstown Not Guilty campaign. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you today, but I stand in full solidarity with your quest for justice. Thank you very much, Jonathan. Our last speaker here today is Robert Balla, well-known social change activist and artist. Next Monday sees the start of what I believe is an extraordinary significant trial. A, a trial that um, is, in my opinion, totally unjust and uh, points to something that is fundamentally wrong in our society. I believe that a democratic society must have separation of powers, that different institutions must be separate, and certainly the political institutions must be separate from the judicial uh, institutions. But what is happening here in this case is that the politicians are using the judicial system in order to punish people who have protested, in my opinion, justly uh, against uh, austerity and other disgraceful impositions on the people of Ireland. The trial uh, which begins next Monday already is causing, as far as I'm concerned, great uh, uh, problems. For instance, the selection of the jury. The fact that nobody from Tala is acceptable to serve on this jury is nothing less than judicial apartheid. It's an absolute disgrace. The fact that anyone who has expressed an opinion on the water campaign is not eligible to serve on the jury is an absolute disgrace. Yeah. <laughs> That's two of the country. In fact, as far as I can see, the only people that they want on the jury are the people who support water charges. Yeah. 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 So, um, unfortunately, if we don't gather in solidarity to protest against this grotesque trial, the not guilty Jobstown people will be found guilty because the whole si judicial system is stacked against them. So I would urge everyone to gather in solidarity and support of the Jobstown Not Guilty campaign. Thank you. Thanks very much, Bobby.